This video is about images by Claude Debussy. I will explain the most important things about the work and the composer. Claude Debussy was a French composer who lived from 1862 to 1918. He is considered one of the most important representatives of Impressionism in music. His work Images consists of two parts, Images pour piano and Images pour orchestra. He wrote Images pour piano between 1905 and 1907, while Images pour orchestra was composed between 1905 and 1912. In both parts, Debussy created musical images that convey a certain atmosphere or mood. Images pour piano consists of two series of three pieces each. The first series includes Reflets Don Lo, Homage au Rameau, and Movement. The second series contains Cloches à Travers Les Fuillis, Et la Lune descend sur le Temple Cafut and Poissons d'Or. Each piece paints a musical picture that stimulates the listener's imagination. Debussy used different harmonies and rhythms to create unique soundscapes. Images pour orchestra consists of three orchestral pieces, Jaegs, Iberia, and Rons de Printemps. Jaegs is based on an English dance and contains a melancholy melody. Iberia describes life in Spain with lively rhythms and sounds. Rons de Printemps captures spring in France with cheerful melodies. These three pieces show Debussy's talent for painting musical pictures with an orchestra. In images, Claude Debussy wanted to create musical pictures that convey certain moods and feelings. To do this, he used unusual harmonies and tone colors. For example, in Cloches à Travers Les Fuillis, he imitates the ringing of bells. In Iberia, you can hear Spanish dances and street music. Through this sound painting, the listener can be transported to different places and times. Claude Debussy was strongly influenced by Impressionism in painting. This art movement sought to depict fleeting impressions and moods. In music, Debussy did the same by experimenting with harmonies and rhythms. In images, he did not want to create clear melodies or forms, but to create an atmosphere. This resulted in pieces that seem like musical paintings. In images, Debussy placed great emphasis on the tone colors of the instruments. He used the piano and the orchestra to achieve special sound effects. For example, in Poissons d'Or, he uses fast runs and trills to represent the movements of fish. In Rons de Printemps, he has the strings and flutes play cheerful spring melodies. These tone colors are an important feature of his music. The pieces and images are technically demanding and require a great deal of skill from the musicians. The piano pieces contain fast runs, complex chords, and unusual rhythms. The orchestral pieces require precise coordination between the various instruments. Musicians must have a good feel for Debussy's tone colors and moods. Only then can they convincingly portray the musical images. The audience was thrilled by the premiere of Images Poor Orchestra in 1913. Critics praised Debussy's ability to paint vivid pictures with music. Images Poor Piano was also highly regarded by pianists and audiences alike. Today, both parts are considered important works of Impressionism. They show Debussy's unique style and his love of sound painting. Claude Debussy left behind a rich musical legacy, which includes images. His music inspired many composers to explore new ways of creating sound. He showed how new worlds of sound can be created with harmonies and rhythms. His influence can still be felt in modern music. Images remains a masterpiece that fascinates musicians and listeners alike.